Hello, and welcome to this demo. Today we're going to be discussing how to review your SSH session via StrongDM. Auditing an SSH session is easy with replays. Every detail is captured for the who, what, when, and where of your sessions. All of this can be completed without the need for an agent. In the admin UI, in the section Logs, SSH, you can view any sessions recorded for this organization over the last 100 days. Sessions can be played at various speeds, up to 16 times faster than the original. The recording can also be downloaded. The admin UI will display up to 4,500 log lines. In the admin UI, you can see the date that a session took place, the server, or target, the user that did the operation, the duration, the command, if the session was non-interactive, and a link to the session ID, if the operation was an interactive session. Let's look at my existing sessions list. If there's a white play icon over the blue, like here, that means that the session was interactive and thus can be played back. SDM does record non-interactive sessions as well. That means that you can send a command on the same line you type the SSH command on. For example, SDM SSH server ls. I will discuss both types of sessions. First, the non-interactive SSH session. For this demo, I have an SSH server that I will log into. You can see in my SDM status output that I have access to a single SSH server. Let's send a non-interactive request to this server and see what the UI shows. You will see that new session has no replay button, but it does show the text ls var log. You can see this with an SDM admin session using the SDM audit SSH command. This information is stored at StrongDM for 13 months, assuming you have Store with StrongDM selected in your log settings. You can see everything in that session with an SDM audit command as shown here. You can see the time, server ID, server name, user ID, username, duration, capture ID, hash, replay, and command are all shown in the SSDM audit SSH command you can see the command I sent here. If you want to just grab the command, you can use some JSON output. And here's the exact command that I sent. I just used the dash J flag to make the output into JSON format. If you want to see this activity in the log file itself, gain access to whichever the relay or gateway that has the log. This will be the last hop node before the resource, assuming that your log storage setting is set to log files. You may be sending these logs elsewhere, but for the sake of this demo, we will assume that the logs are on the gateway. I am on the gateway and I'm in the home.sdm slash logs directory. For this example, I'm going to grab the last post start instance in the last relay log file in the logs directory. You can see the plain text in the request here, ls var log. You can see all the relevant information about this request as well. Since these log files reside wherever you decide on the gateways or relays by default, you can keep these records for as long as you like. We do recommend to centralize these logs for ease of troubleshooting and accounting. Now that we have seen a non-interactive session, let's see about an interactive session. Going back to our SDM client logged in as a user, let's do a short interactive session. As soon as we complete the interactive session, we should be able to see this session in the admin UI. It may take a, a couple minutes to process, but you can see that it is already recorded that there was a session right here. Let's watch the session in the UI. First, click on the play icon. Notice that there is a button to increase the speed of the playback, and it can be paused as well. In the replay, I can click on the field that shows the SDM SSH play session ID, and it will copy the command to play back the session via the command line. Let's move to an admin session in the CLI and see what this looks like. I paste the command and it walks through the playback. It is not sending these commands again. It is simply displaying what happened during the session. 
the command is pulling the session information from StrongDM itself. Notice it isn't just showing the command output, it is showing what I actually typed. You can also download that file that has your clear text SSH session information using the download button on this screen. It does not offer playback functionality when done this way, but you can see all of the session information in that file that is created. If you do not want to keep your logs at StrongDM, you can still replay your SSH files directly from the logs stored on your relays and gateways. If your local storage setting is log files, which is the default, then all of your sessions and replays will be stored in plain text in the home slash dot SDM slash logs folder in files labeled relay that some date stamp dot log. Let's look at these now. I'm going to head to the admin UI and grab a session ID from one of our replays and show what that look, looks like. Here's the copy to clipboard for the session ID. Notice that I'm on the gateway. I'm going to export the ID here just so I can call it as a variable. And now I'm going to grab that ID from the last relay log file. You can see here that there are four log lines associated with each JSON encoded SSH session. With CSV log lines, there are more lines per session as the log is broken up into smaller chunks. The four different lines associated with each session are start, post start, complete, and chunk. The base64 encoded data from the SSH session itself is contained in this chunk type. Within the chunk, we keep not only the data, but the timing information as well. You can see the duration and data keys, which allow for replay. If you want to decode the data from the SSH session itself, you can simply echo the data and base64 decode. I will give you an example of that. Grab this data, for example. And you can see this was part of my input and the resulting output. You can imagine decoding these sessions manually like this would be pretty tedious. Instead, we can pull each distinct SSH session from these logs using the command SDM SSH split. This is going to split out the SSH sessions from the very last relay log file. You can see that within that one relay log file, there are six distinct SSH sessions. In order to replay these sessions, you can use the command sdm ssh play and reference the file name. So we'll grab this file. This does not require access to StrongDM's API. It will replay the session for viewing, but as I mentioned previously, it does not send these commands again to the terminal. It is simply for viewing what happened during the session. You can see what's in these log files. In this session, this is the duration, and this is the data that was sent. Let's use the last one. In this one, this was a longer session. It's had multiple durations and the different data sent over those durations. I hope that this has been helpful in understanding how to review your SSH sessions, both interactive and non-interactive sessions, and both from StrongDM servers and your own log files. Thank you for watching.